Hi. Today I'll be talking uh, about herpes infection. It is a, once again a common STD. Herpes is uh, causing, caused by two viruses, HSV-1 and HSV-2. HSV-1 is an oral herpes um, and it causes blisters uh, on our lips and mouth and HSV-2 is a genital herpes that causes blisters on the genital area. How common is a herpes infection? Well, it is extremely common. According to World Health Organization, 3.7 billion people have HSV-1 infection and this is people under the age of 50. So 67% of population suffers from HSV-1 or oral herpes, which is blisters um, or fever cold sores on our lips. About um, 417 million people suffer from genital herpes at the age between 15 and 49. That's 11% of the world population age 15 to 49 who have symptoms of genital herpes. How do we get infected with herpes? Well, genital um, herpes trans is transmitted through oral, vaginal, anal sex. Oral herpes is acquired by most children um, during childhood actually. Herpes cannot be transmitted through touching toilet seats or uh, towels or any kind of surfaces. This virus is not stable outside of uh, our body, uh, outside of the skin. So it's very different to COVID-19 which can live uh, for hours uh, on certain surfaces. Herpes is quite different and one actually has to have sexual intercourse to acquire genital herpes. It is quite possible to pass herpes without knowing uh, as one can be shedding virus or having virus uh, uh, on the skin uh, and not knowing about it. It is important to use condoms to prevent uh, transmission of the herpes. However, condoms don't always cover all the areas and it is possible even using condoms to acquire herpes, but it won't be very common. How do we prevent getting herpes besides using condoms? Well, one should avoid having sexual intercourse when there is clearly uh, her blisters in the genital area. One should avoid having oral sex um, when there is a cold sores or um, a fever blisters on the lips as they can be transmitted from the lips onto the genital area. How does one know that they have herpes? Well, usually people develop symptoms when they acquire the infection, not always, but some of the time people would have blisters um, and tingling sensation pain um, in the area of the lesions lots of people have genital herpes without knowing it and they can actually transmit it without knowing it because their symptoms are too mild uh, they might have had a little pimple that they might have mixed up with an ingrown hair and they never even thought that they, that's what they have and on the other hand, some people, and I've seen it in, on a number of occasions, have very, very severe outbreak of herpes when they acquire infection for the first time. They would have a lot of blisters or lesions or pimples in the genital area. They will feel generally unwell. They'll have pain when they're passing urine, burning sensation, and a lot of discomfort at times they can't even pass urine because of the pain in the area. And we even have to put a little tube or a catheter into the bladder to help them uh, with the urine flow. That's uncommon, but it does happen and um, usually only with the first episode. When the same person has another episode, they will not have such severe symptoms, even if they have no treatment at the time. How do we diagnose herpes? Well, the best way to confirm that someone has a 
a blister or a lesion caused by herpes is to take a swab for PCR test. PCR test will pick up genetic material of the herpes virus and will confirm what type of herpes it is, HSV1, oral one, or HSV2, genital one. As I mentioned already, oral herpes can transmit into the genital area and cause genital herpes and vice versa. How do we treat herpes? Well, we treat herpes with antiviral medications. It's a tablet that we prescribe. They're very safe. They have a good uh, uh, side effects profile. And those medications shorten outbreaks of herpes infection quite significantly, and they help with pain and discomfort. Suppressive therapy or taking antiviral anti-herpes medications on a daily basis will prevent outbreaks of herpes infection. So if you don't want to have an infection again, you would just take tablets continuously. Of course, it's quite inconvenient to have to take a medication every single day, but that would prevent future herpes outbreaks. Can we cure herpes? No, herpes is not a curable uh, condition. Once a person gets a herpes virus, the virus goes into the hiding, into the nerve cells, and it's just hibernates there until another outbreak. The herpes itself does not suppress your immune system. However, if you have other illnesses or you are in a lot of stress, you are more likely to get frequent outbreaks of herpes. A herpes infection does break skin with the blisters and that leads to easier acquisition of HIV virus, for example. So having a herpes outbreak would um, stimulate acquisition of other infections. Herpes can be transmitted from the pregnant woman to the baby uh, and that's possible during childbirth hence we recommend that uh, pregnant women take anti-herpes medications in their last few months of pregnancy to prevent the herpes outbreaks and to, to prevent transmission of the infection to the baby if there is an outbreak at the time of childbirth we would then recommend women having a cesarean section to prevent the transmission of the infection so this is all on herpes. If you have any questions or comments, please write to us and we'll answer them. Have a lovely day. Bye.